a central feature of the sign of wisdom, a fully developed presence of wisdom, is joy. This is perhaps the hardest quality to cultivate because it requires a lot of practice. Not the joy of a child, not the innocence of that kind of joy. Because that's so fleeting, you know, you go from a tent to a temper tantrum to a, a sense of awe and joy. But the joy that comes when you've gone through so many dark nights of the soul, you've gone through so many witnessing moments of the ego's thought system. And at some point you say enough is enough. And as the reactive mind comes to die, almost like a quiet, purposeful flute background sound, the sound of a flute rising up, joy starts to m embody itself in your being or Better put, you, you start to see, despite all the problems in your life, despite all the pain, there's a simplicity that you hunger for and that you've given yourself to. And joy becomes a quality of that solitude that you've excavated in yourself. You may be with lots of other people, but you've prioritized stillness, listening open-mindedness, trust, faithfulness, patience, honesty, tolerance. And the more you focus on these qualities, the more you trust the fruit of that, you will know them by their, by their, by their, the fruit of what they've invested in and if you invest in bitterness condemnation all the children of insecurity joy will remain like the most elusive wild animal far away in the wilderness behind the chaos that your mind has become addicted to but if you if you develop those qualities then joy will come up